Washington is reaching out to Moscow and Tehran for ways to negotiate with the Assad government, which America had previously wanted to remove. At least that's according to US Secretary of State John Kerry. Uh, let's go now to RT's Marina Portnoy in Washington, who's got more details on this. Uh, Marina, this sounds like a rather awkward U-turn here. So what, what is Kerry's reasoning for this uh, rather unexpected shift in White House policy? Well, he made his comments while speaking at the 6th Annual Washington Ideas Forum. Uh, during that event, Secretary of State John Kerry uh, made some interesting and possibly contradicting comments concerning the U.S. strategy towards Syria. Now, while acknowledging that the U.S. is currently using military force to carry out airstrikes within a sovereign country, the Secretary of State says the Syrian crisis can only be resolved through diplomacy, not force. We are flying airplanes into Syria, and Syria is not trying to shoot them down. We are targeting ISIL. We are trying to build a force that can have an impact on Assad's decision making so we can get back to a table where we could negotiate a political outcome because we all know there is no military resolution of Syria. Syria. So that's what we're trying to get back to. And we reached out to the Russians. Uh, there have been conversations with Iranians, conversations with the Saudis. And Marina, this is a significant change in tact, isn't it? But is there any opposition in Washington to what John Kerry is saying? Uh, there certainly is. Uh, U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel is among those who aren't happy about how his boss is currently handling the situation in Syria. At least that's what a leaked memo suggests. According to the New York Times, the Pentagon's chief recently penned a memo to National Security Advisor Susan Rice insisting that Washington can lose uh, all the gains it's made against the Islamic State unless the administration sharpens its approach towards the Syrian government. Some experts believe that ultimately the U.S. strategy is to remove Assad under the guise of fighting Islamists. It's very clear that uh, the uh, Arab, Gulf Arab countries are getting to Hegel uh, because they, their, their goal in joining the uh, coalition in bombing uh, Syria was uh, not to go after ISIS so much, but, but to uh, go after the Assad regime and also to give the uh, Free Syrian Army time to um, uh, get training and get, get equipped so that they can go back in and ultimately go after the Assad regime. The internal differences and doublespeak coming from top U.S. officials illustrates at the very least that the Obama administration is lacking a clear strategy on how to deal with the Syrian crisis. Okay, thanks, Marine. Let's uh, Artis Marina Portnoy live there from Washington, D.C. Thank you.